week you get a free booster pack for playing one in one game of Tavern Brawl. And that's going to help people get some booster packs. Um, we keep uh, working on new systems also. We have a designer who's specializing in the new player experience and is dedicated to that. We're making small tweaks uh, that are mostly invisible, like to like matchmaking and things like that to give them the best experience possible. Um, we also think that there's a, a big discussion that needs to happen uh, with our community and with that internally and, and just sort of think about it a lot. The idea that, hey, all these cards are in the game. Is that, is that a healthy thing? Is there something that needs to be done? And if so, what? And what would be the best way to do that while still like giving a good experience to people who have you know, big collections or a returning player comes back? You know, we want him to have a good experience, but at the same time, a new player who comes in should have a good experience too. So, what is the answer to that question, and, and how can we figure out what the answer is? Um, not talking about new players now, but professional players. Um, when you release a new add-on, you have many new cards at once. Um, do you think that um, professional players are forced to buy a lot of new cards when a new add-on is released, so that they can compete with others? Or what is your opinion on that? Uh, that's a good question. We want we want the game to be always fresh for the professional players. They consume the content the fastest because they play so many games and they play with so many different decks. Sure. Um, and I think when the grand tournament comes out in August, it's going to be a big, a lot of stuff for them to process, and they're going to be challenged. And a lot of them have told me that they love that moment, like the first couple of weeks where. The new decks haven't been figured out yet or discovered yet, and everyone's and they can be ahead of the game and they can show off that they they own this awesome new deck. So they're usually really happy about that. Um, the idea of buying all the cards is a little bit different. Uh, I think what's going to happen is if they don't want to buy all those cards, they can still play an old deck that's strong, right? Like maybe they play Mech Mage. It's not going to change much, and they can keep playing it. But if they want to play a new deck that no one else has discovered yet, then they should. You know, invest in the new cards, and often their sponsorships cover that, and it's not a big deal. Last question on acquiring new cards. Um, do you consider implementing more ways of earning new cards, or are you happy with how it is now? Um, the thing about Hearthstone is it's really new, so we don't really know the answers yet. We keep watching, you know, watch the new players, watch the forums, watch Reddit, and just like learn from player feedback. We're really happy to make changes that we don't even know we want to make yet. So if we need to keep doing that, we'll we'll make more. We've done it with Tavern Brawl, we've shown that we can do it. We also made a watch and learn quest, which gives you a booster pack. It's a quest that didn't exist before and it's a really nice reward. So we're definitely showing that we're going to give more rewards and we think it's appropriate. We'll keep watching. Um, do you also have plans um, for... Do you have a tutorial in Hearthstone right now? But um, do you have plans on um, improving the tutorial to also include the new mechanics like Inspire so that the players can learn them? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. We could do something like add a few more missions that teach you Inspire and Joust maybe and maybe make them optional missions. We haven't, uh, we haven't solved that yet, but I'm sure our new player experience designer is working on something for that. Um, can you tell us if there are um, already more cosmetic hero skins in development? Um, we haven't announced any new ones, but I'm sure that we'll eventually have them. It would be weird to just do three classes. And also talking about art, do you have plans on updating outdated art or hero art? Or do you think it's um, still everything fine? We don't want someone to like leave the game and then come back after two months and the art to be different on cards that they know. So in general, we don't want to change art. Uh, but if there was a piece of art that for some reason was like messed up or like we could change it if we got a lot of feedback like oh this piece of art doesn't make sense you know you should have a sword instead of a bow or whatever change it sure. um in the upcoming add-on you change the rank reward by implementing the chest and we were wondering if the reward from the chest the card back is it the card back from the current season or is there also a chance to um, get card packs from previous seasons as well. Uh, so the highest rank bonus system, also coming out in August, is about uh, giving you a little bonus for playing. It gives you, if you hit rank 20 or higher, just like every other month, you're going to get the card back, and that's what the card back is. It's the rank 20 plus card back. Okay. Uh, 
Um, in addition to that, you get a little bit of dust, and you get one to three golden cards, depending on where you actually end up between rank 20 and rank 1. And um, there are, of course, a lot of players who like to collect things and would like to have card packs that are not available anymore. Um, do you consider that there are ways to acquire those old card packs, or do you think it's a reward that um, no one should get if he starts playing now? Hmm. Well, I think I, you're not the first person who's asked me that, so <laughs> it seems like a lot of people want those old card packs. Uh, so we'll probably discuss a good way to give them to people. We do want them to still feel like you should feel special because you earned them when they originally came out. So we wouldn't want to give them out for free, but like if we put like if you really really want it, maybe you can have it, but it's going to cost you something. I don't know what. Maybe I don't know if it's dust or gold or whatever. But it seems like if people really want them, we could give them an opportunity. Okay. Um, what I have to ask, can you tell us a uh, more specific release date for the Grand Tournament? I can tell you it's in August. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Many players think that there are many RNG, RNG elements in Hearthstone. Yes. Um, and winning games depends on luck too much. What is your opinion on that? And do you maybe have plans on improving the situation? Uh, the situation is pretty good. <laughs> That's not my opinion. Okay. Uh, so let me talk about RNG because uh, I'm a huge fan of RNG in Hearthstone. Uh, we, when we first started with Hearthstone, we didn't really know what the healthiest kind of RNG and what the audience would like and not like, what was most fun. And uh, we made a card called Web Spinner Next Ramus. And it was one of our first sort of give you a random card cards. And it's a one mana, one one beast. When it dies, you get a random beast in your hand. So. Uh, We watched it go out, and people really seemed to like it. People were watching streams, they were using it in tournaments, it was in lots of Hunter decks, and the audience was cheering wildly, and, and everyone was waiting to see what, what was behind the spider. Was there like a huge legendary behind the spider or what? And that was great, we decided we wanted to do more of that. And we also decided that the idea that you always get some consistency, like you always get a one one for one, gives you a turn one play, and you always get a beast on top of that. So that consistency was important. So when we designed Pilot and Shredder and Unstable Portal, uh, we stick, stuck with that. So the Shredders all have the consistent minion, like a 4-3, or 4, and then some 2-mana minion afterwards. So you know you're always going to get something. Uh, and that's the kind of RNG that we've been following through with, because it's, it's been the most fun. Okay. Uh, have you considered offering more competitive rank game modes, like a ladder for Arena? Uh, more competitive, like what? Um, like, um, um, maybe you just form Oh, yeah, right, you just Um, yeah, uh, we've talked a few times about stuff like that. Uh, we don't have anything that we really love, so we haven't moved forward with anything, but, you know, if people have suggestions for a nice way to do that, we might add a ranking system for Arena and, you know, maybe a new way to approach it. Uh, for the Temple Hall, we visited a few weeks ago, and um, I like it, by the way. Uh, also, uh, many other players like it because it's something new every week, and um, there are some weeks uh, where I have to build the deck, and some weeks I can jump uh, right into the action and play like um, you know, the bottle uh, from last week. Yeah, yeah, and um, I like uh, those more because uh, I don't have to consider good deck or if I'm a bad player I don't really uh, used to this uh, deck type and um, so my question is uh, is there any plans to uh, add more of these terrible worlds um, with uh, just the uh, um, so a couple things are going on like we, we want to do tavern brawls for all kinds of different types of players and we also want to do like uh, different experiments to see what people like and don't like. Whenever we do a tavern brawl, we look at stats. We have stats of like what types of players play each tavern brawl and how much, how many games, how many hours, all those things. And then uh, we also, right now we're alternating. We've done constructed, you know, pre-built, constructed, pre-built. Uh, and we like that. With that, we can get an idea of, you know, which one's more popular. And it turns out they're actually really close right now. Uh, a few individual brawls have been a little bit more popular, but the idea of 
constructed versus pre-built has been about even. Yeah. So that's interesting to us. Um, I think we'll, for now we'll probably continue to like roughly half will be one and roughly half will be the other, but we're going to keep watching for feedback and you know make sure that everybody has something that they like. Um, at the moment, if you want to play with friends, you actually have to play against them, which is not um, bad. Um, but do you have plans on maybe implementing a two versus two mode or having multiplayer adventures where multiple players can fight against a stronger opponents? Uh, yeah, that's something we want, but it's really tough to do because Hearthstone's uh, I've got a really clean, specific UI right now. And Uh, sometimes you're playing on the phone or a tablet, uh, and putting four people on a phone was pretty tough. Uh, but you know, one day I would like to have that. You know, we have some really good UI designers, and I'm sure one day they will start working on that. But right now, nobody is uh, working on that. In the meantime, we'll see what we can jury rig and figure out. Um, every hero has its own unique hero ability, and there are also cards like the Shadow Form on the Priest that changes that ability. Are there plans on adding more cards that change the hero power? Well, with the Grand Tournament, there's a lot of hero power modifying abilities. Um, Just a card, too hard, is the uh, place for hero power, your starting hero power with the veteran version. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff in the expansion that modifies your hero power in different ways, and hopefully that'll, that'll give you new options. Uh, can you already give us a hint on the upcoming adventure? Well, the Grand Tournament is upcoming. It's come, it comes out in After the Grand Tournament, of course. Uh, yeah, we really want to focus on the Grand Tournament okay. and, our, and our highest rank bonus right now. Yeah. Uh, you introduced the Crusade offer, yeah. uh, so we can buy at the moment 50, 50, 50 packs. Correct, and um, some people uh, read it more so comments are complaining about that uh, you only offer 50. So uh, they said, hey, I really love Hearthstone, but I don't want to put the money to there, and now it feels I have to put money to there, because uh, I really want this card back, and I really want some of the cards and a good offer, but I have to buy 50 packs, and they would uh, put it there also for 10 packs. Uh, is there any opinion about this? Any yeah. Reactions? Uh, sometime in August, the game will the expansion will come out and then they can buy 10 packs. Yeah, so but, that's great. Yeah, but uh, they are complaining about uh, this um, yeah, pre-sale offer and only 50. Uh, I really read a lot of blog posts even on um, press sites and uh, there are really a lot of complaints about uh, this 50 and mm -hmm. um, yeah, high cost. Yeah, uh, I guess that's, I mean, that's why we have the ability to buy individual boosters and even get boosters for free for just gold. Uh, the pre, the pre-sale, probably they really want the card back, and that's understandable, because I want the card back too. Uh, and I guess they just want it for less money. Uh, I mean, it's a free card back, and it only, it only affects, like, how the back of your deck looks. It doesn't affect gameplay, so uh, in general, when something's just visual, we're okay with you know, making it not every, not for everybody. If somebody that can't afford to spend uh, fifty dollars on card packs and get the free card back, then they shouldn't. They should just, you know, save their money, buy food and rent, and you know, if they want to spend ten dollars on card packs, buy them. And uh, have you considered adding more advanced options for a guided deck creation? Because at the moment you obviously have help when creating a new deck, but um, I don't know. If Is there a possibility to have more options like yeah, it's how they explain maybe? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's something that we're thinking about and uh, we have UI designers thinking about right now. So I think uh, sometime we'll get that. You know, it takes a while for us to get a feature exactly how we want it, but it's a good idea. And I don't know what the best version of that idea is, but the general idea is a good one and we should improve it. Okay, great. Are there uh, any other ideas for? I mean, you're now implementing um, an add-on like the World Tournament and also adventures like the uh, Black of Mountain and Extremacy. Uh, so, two types of new content, let's say, for Hearthstone. Are there any plans to do more of it? I don't know what, but uh, beside an adventure and beside the festival yeah. add-on side? We don't know what the best 
thing for Hearthstone is yet. Like, we don't know if expansions or adventures are right, and we're happy to do a third thing also. Like, whatever that third thing is, we might do it. We don't even know what it is, but we figured we the obvious thing is expansions. Adventures worked out well when we did one, so we're doing more. But we're going to keep listening and keep brainstorming, and maybe there's another thing. And when we find a thing, we'll try it. And it might just be a one-time experiment, but hey, that could be really fun. Uh, what is your opinion on custom game modes, so that players can create maybe their own game modes, um, like having 60 um, health from the start on to have longer matches or a deck of 50 cards and things like that? Uh, I like those ideas, I like mixing it up so you build your deck differently and stuff like that. Right now we're using the Tavern Brawl system to do that, but if people have like specific ideas for a Tavern Brawl, they should send them to us and we'll, we'll take the best ideas and we'll make them future Tavern Brawls. Uh, speaking about Tavern Brawl, oh, okay. speaking about the Tavern Brawl, is uh, there, are there any plans? Uh, Plans. Is there on the horizon that they will uh, repeat? Because uh, last week, I guess there was a technical problem yes. with the portals, and there was a black rock uh, roll again. Um, so many complain, oh, have there been no ideas uh, again? The black yeah. rock experience. Are there uh, any? Yeah, we're gonna thoughts on how much uh, you know, stuff you have in the bag. Uh, we have a lot of ideas. But we're still going to do some repeats. Uh, we're going to repeat because some people just want to play a certain one. We know which one is the most popular because we have all the data, and we'll repeat that one. Can you tell me? Uh, the most popular one is when you play a spell, you get a minion at the same cost. That was the most popular one so far. Uh, and we'll eventually repeat, you know, but we'll, we'll listen to people, see what they like, also, besides looking at our data. Uh, but we're also going to make new ones all the time. We're not going to be like, oh, suddenly we're going to repeat from now on. So, you'll see a repeat eventually. Uh, and hopefully people are okay with that once in a while. And will it change? Because uh, the Blackrock uh, not one. They're two yeah. people with so many uh, yeah. balance. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Ragnaros versus the Ferrium one, the first time for all. Uh, it wasn't very fair. And if Ferry had an unfair advantage, I'm sure he he works that out himself too. Uh, yeah, we'll change if we repeat that one, we'll fix it so ah, that okay. it's closer together. Interesting. So, thank you. Thank you very much.